my channel what's that noise lulu lou no this little missy was just trying to knock over a glass of water she's so cute you guys oh my god this is my soulmate besides fab good lighting before and now it's like all dark anyways today's video is going to be all about nine healthy habits that i do every single day so i'm gonna kind of take you guys through like a vlog of my life like a vlog of my life a vlog of my day to show you guys all nine of the things that i try and do every single day so if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe don't forget to do that so that way you can join the fam and also if you guys are interested in videos that aren't always related to fitness i have a whole other channel called molly's life and on there i upload vlogs with my boyfriend challenges try on hauls makeup and basically everything in the world that doesn't have to do with fitness is over on that channel so if you guys are interested in that definitely make sure to go check that channel out because i just made it not too long ago and i would love if you guys went over there too and give this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited about me uploading a lot more consistently on both channels because i know i am but i guess without further ado let's just get into it i actually just woke up not too long ago but as you guys saw i made myself a cup of coffee because your girl loves coffee i just ordered on amazon some new ground coffee to use instead of k-cups but i really wanted my coconut coffee this morning so it's from wegmans and it's so good but my first tip that i have for you guys to go along with the coffee is to always drink a huge glass of water or like a huge bottle of water like this when you have your coffee coffee naturally dehydrates you so you want to kind of counteract that with water at the same time i'm a very slow coffee drinker like i will have my hot coffee for like an hour so during that hour i will just make sure that if i'm not drinking coffee that i have you know a sip or two of my water and in my water i added some lemon in it as well and a ton of ice i always see on twitter people are like debating between cold water and room temperature water but i'm a cold water girl comment down below what you are i don't know how people drink room temperature water it makes me physically uncomfortable that's a whole nother video though stay hydrated and live your best life so i'm gonna be sitting here for a little while drinking my coffee and having my peace and i will check back in with you guys in a little bit Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back with my next tip for you guys. Something else that I think is really important is every morning setting aside like a certain amount of time for yourself. And that's like a healthy habit that I'm still learning how to do all the time because, you know, I love my sleep, but I also love having time to myself in the mornings and not feeling like, oh my God, like where's my shirt? Where's my bra? Where's this? Where's that? Like I can't have a good day if the beginning of my day isn't great. One thing that makes me feel really good and it actually makes me feel productive is doing my skincare every single morning. I did do a favorites video on my main channel, Molly's Life. So if you guys wanna go watch that video, I talk about like a lot of these products. And another thing I always love to do is set the mood. Something about jazz music really gets me feeling productive. But yeah, I'm just gonna do my skincare, make myself feel nice and pampered. And that is my second tip, is to make time for yourself in the morning and do things that you enjoy doing and don't be so rushed all the time. Battery, 70%. Connected to moles. So as you guys can see on my Keurig, it's now 3.03 p.m. And around now, I tend to get a little bit slower with my actions because I'm getting tired. But one thing that I highly recommend is instead of having another coffee, find a tea that you like. I don't know what mug I want to use, guys. I literally am doing dishes today, so look at how sad this mug collection is. I think maybe I'll use the No Drama Club mug. Over here, this is my little tea cabinet here so i have a ton of different essentials in here 
but I have this little container right here and this is full of just like a ton of different teas that I really like so if we go through here this is my favorite one I think uh, I like the peach one too, but I'm gonna do one of the Wegmans. It's just a tropical green tea. Once I remember that all of these goodies were in this cabinet, I can't stop using them again. Okay, so here they all are. These are all by the Beauty Chef. There is a hydration little liquid, a collagen liquid, and then also a glow powder. And I add all three of these into my green tea. It gives it such a nice berry taste to it with also like a little bit of vanilla. And then with like the tropical green tea, it just tastes literally like a juice, like a hot juice, and it just soothes my throat. I'll leave links to all of these products down below. So for a good portion of the rest of the day, I'm going to be spending some time in my little living room right here, but look at how cute my little tea is. Aww. I'm just going to go ahead and place it down on my coffee table right here and let it sit. So yeah, that was my next healthy tip, and I will talk to you guys when I got my next one. So I'm in my bed right now. I've just been editing on my computer for a little bit. I know I said I was going to do it downstairs, but I changed my mind and came up here. I guess this can be a little lesson to all of you guys that things happen for everyone you know i'm not always perfect i can't do everything on my list but i just have so much to do tonight work wise like on my computer that i'm not gonna be able to make it to the gym but my tip was to schedule things slash workouts in advance and create habits so something that i need to work on myself that i don't necessarily do every day but i want to do every day is have like a certain time every single night or morning whatever one i choose i have to just pick something and go to the gym every day at that time that way it's not like up for chance like oh like we were gonna go at six o'clock tonight but then like something came up and then like oh we're gonna go at like 10 a.m the next day but then like something came up because you just are always gonna make excuses if you don't have like a strict schedule for the gym it's not the end of the world but it's just something that i like doing is going to the gym so i need to find time for myself to do that and schedule it in advance that way things like this don't happen but moving on to my fifth tip let's get the negativity out of the way and start a new tip so my next tip is don't do too much of anything for too long and that can go for so many things that can go for your diet for your workouts for just day-to-day -day things like for me something i tend to do is i'm always on extremes so i'm either like super into editing or super into working out or super into something and I just do it like way too much or I do it for too long like I'll be at the gym for like four hours and then I'm like I can't get anything else done with my day because I just spent like majority of my daylight in the gym so for me I like to be kind of self-aware of the fact that I'm doing something for too long right now I have been just sitting here editing for a really long time and it's not really good to just like you know stare at the computer for that long so in a second what i'm gonna do is get up and clean my office and my bedroom a little bit just because i like these two spaces to be super extra clean and if i can get that done i think i'll fall asleep a lot better tonight because i like a clean environment so instead of just continuing to sit here i'm gonna go do something else productive clear my mind a little bit and then i can come back to editing later on I'm sorry that this mirror is so dirty. My mom is actually coming over on Friday to clean my whole house because she's like, Molly, I need to do it. So my version of clean and my mom's version of clean are two completely different things. Like 10 minutes or 15 minutes cleaning this space. I honestly feel so much better and so much more like ready to go back to editing as opposed to just like staring at my computer for so long and just like 
zoning out. Now I feel like I'm refreshed and ready to go again. So my next tip for you guys is actually to limit processed healthy foods. And I put healthy in quotations because sometimes they are healthy and sometimes they aren't. Sometimes they're low in calorie, which is good because calories in versus calories out is how you lose weight. But I sometimes see a lot of people overusing the fact that there are a lot of healthy processed foods out there. So for instance, I wanted to give you guys an example of something that I love that is processed. So on movie nights with Fab, I always have popcorn and I love having this skinny girl popcorn. It comes in a really small bag and I have no issue with it. The only issue that I have is the fact that I see people eat like a processed protein bar for breakfast because it's vegan and healthy and then like protein pancakes or protein waffles and then for dinner like a microwavable pizza that's vegan or cauliflower or something like that and it's like although those things in moderation are perfectly fine try not to have processed foods all the time and limit what you have for processed foods so something like this i don't have every single night if i did that would be overkill i have it once in a while when we have movie nights i thought i would just really quickly show you guys what my fridge looks like so minus the alcohol please ignore that it's been there since new year's we don't really drink but on new year's we did so we have all this extra lovely alcohol taking up so much space in my fridge. One thing I've noticed about myself is when my fridge is messy, that's when I tend to like not know what I have in my fridge and then I'm like so stressed out that I either order takeout or you know make something unhealthy because I know where the unhealthy things are obviously. You know what I mean? Like when it's really nice and clean like this, it just makes the whole cooking process so much easier and it makes eating healthy just 10,000 times easier. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? I just finished making dinner. If you guys are wondering what the heck this is, so it's garlic naan bread with a little bit of garlic spread all over it, a little bit of pizza sauce, a very small amount of cheese, and then it's loaded with tomatoes, peppers, and onions. So I have like red peppers and green peppers, and then like big slices of tomato. Put it in the oven for about 12 minutes at 400 degrees, and it will be the perfect little pizza. So before I eat, this brings me to my next tip, and that is to not wait until you're starving to eat, and also to not eat to the point where you are so full that you feel like your pants are going to unbutton. One thing that happens is when you wait until you're super, super hungry to start eating, or start making food, I should say, you just make like the most unhealthy thing, or you order takeout, or you do something irrational because you're so hungry that that's like all you can think about. You want something fat fast and something like super indulgent because you've waited until you're starving to eat something. So I wasn't even hungry while I was cooking that pizza and by the time I was done making it, I'm now finally hungry and it works out perfectly because I'm not too hungry to the point where I'm gonna eat a ton of food. Fendi's about to jump at, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm glad I got that on camera, but we're back in my cozy little room. Ignore my dresser mess, you guys. Just just pretend you're not seeing that, okay? Look at adorable little Lou. Oh my gosh, love. But tip number eight, oh my gosh, we're almost done here, you guys. But tip number eight is to plan your meals ahead of time. I know you guys probably all love a good plan, but do you guys plan out your meals? Like exactly what you're gonna eat for the week? Because if you don't and you leave it up to the guessing game, you're just gonna eat whatever the frick you want. I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow. So what I do the night before is I make a new Pinterest board with what I want to eat for the week and I get inspiration. I just search healthy recipes and I get inspiration from what I see and what's popular, you know, that week and just kind of go from there. Um, one thing I will say though is that on Pinterest, a lot of times in recipes, there'll be random ingredients that are like $10 at the grocery store that are totally unessential to the recipes so i don't add those ones in and i don't buy those things if they're non-essential just to save some money but i do take a lot of inspiration from you know just scrolling through and seeing what there is like look at that that says clean eating strawberry dole whip oh oh my gosh this is what i need right now hi guys i have no idea why but my mouth is like really red over here right now but anyways i am freshly showered and moisturized and i'm feeling good i have my lemon water right here i swear i just filled this thing up and i already drank almost all of it i'm like a fish lately 
I just can't stop drinking water, which is, I guess, a good thing, except for the fact that I have to pee all the time. But my final tip for this video is to make a routine, and this is something that's definitely new for me, and it's also kind of hard because a lot of nights, you guys, I'm either, like, sleeping here, or I'm sleeping at my mom's place, or I'm sleeping at Fab's place. Like, it's kind of, like, my life, a lot of my life is in my car, to be honest, because I'm just, like, constantly going back and forth between places, and it gets a little hectic, but I'm trying trying to do something where no matter where I am and no matter where I'm sleeping I'm trying to like make sure that I have a routine and something that I do every night like besides my skincare so one thing I do is I get myself a glass of water or some tea I have like some sleepy time peach tea as well so I get either one of those no matter where I am if I'm going somewhere else I take my tea with me the other thing that I'm making it a point to take with me is my book that I'm reading so I want to start reading every single night, no matter what, no matter where I am, no matter how busy I am, and this book I've read before, but as you guys can see, I just started it, so I'm only a little ways through it, but I'm starting it over again because I remember it just helped me a lot, and that was like two years ago, so I'm going to make it, it might have even been three years ago to be honest, but I'm going to make it a point to start reading every single night, so this book I thought would be a good one to start off with because I do tend to doubt myself a lot so maybe this book will help me i know fab's so happy that i'm reading this he's like yes you need to remember that you are a badass like he's so funny but me and my little red face are just going to read and then go to bed it's like 10 30 right now let me see 10 18 so i'll probably read for like 20 minutes and then head off to bed that is my final tip for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it and filming it and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and subscribe to Molly's Life too. And I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you in my next video very soon. Bye!